Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I am going to be showing you guys what I got for camping. We are going to be going camping again this year with our church family. And we went last year and we had a lot of fun and we have the opportunity this year to do that. So today I'm gonna show you a little grocery haul on some of the things that we are going to be getting or what I got to go with us camping. And I did, I just got back, so I didn't even unpack it yet, but I got some stuff from Walmart and I just did a Walmart pickup. And then I couldn't find like scoops and buckets for my kids. I found one, I think from Myers. They didn't have like the little, just the little ones. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I found what I needed there. And then at Walmart, I actually found, I had to run in quick, but I did find some other stuff that was perfect for what we needed for packing up some of the stuff. So I'll show you that. But what I'm gonna do right now is unpack everything from the van. I'll kind of show you like a glimpse of where everything is and then and go through everything with you guys on what we got for camping. I will show you you know, us like packing up and getting things done. We have to um, do like a a name board drawing thing um, to bring along for our family. So we're gonna be working on that and you can watch us while we do that. But um, right now the kids are in the house eating while I unpack everything from the van. So um, I will show you that. We'll get that started quick. So they ended up putting stuff over here because they didn't have enough room in the back so we got a bunch of stuff in here right now and we got a bunch of noodles and a bunch of things okay so that's that that part i need oh, oh. oh wow that didn't work okay can you pick that up and put that in here and then another thing that we're going to be doing, me and Gage are going to do, is we are going to wipe down everything, vacuum everything, and get everything clean and ready for us to be able to pack everything in. <coughs> so this is what it looks like right now. We need to unpack everything and then um, figure out where we're going to put everything. And then kind of just put it in the house off to the side so it's ready for us to go tomorrow. So I'm going to bring you guys along and show you us unpacking. So you guys saw that we unloaded everything, brought it in the house, and then I organized everything here. So I'm gonna go through everything with you guys and show you what we got. So I just wanna put a little disclaimer out that um, I know a lot of people kinda spot certain things and like um, say things about all the junk food and stuff. We are going to be eating at the camp that they are going to be serving us all the meals there. And this is just stuff that we will be keeping in our camper. 
or our cabin and one of the things that is not in the in um with this haul or some of the things that we, we will be bringing is um like our coffee machine and other stuff that we have to pack that are not in um, with this this is just what we bought extra to go along um to be in our cabin and okay so here are i'm gonna get started i think up here and everything that you see here was from today's walmart pickup and then um i have some buckets down here from myers another time and then buckets over there from the dollar tree that i was telling you before so she might take over the buckets right now but i'm gonna go through everything else up here okay so right here i got a multi-pack jumbo pack glow sticks we always use glow, use glow sticks for pretty much every activity that we do so this is a multi-pack with glasses uh rings just um bracelets and then necklaces and then for this there's three in a pack i figure that one night we can hang them up in our cabin so they're glow lanterns so one night we'll use one set another night we'll use that set here is a glow toss game when we are outside our cabin at nighttime we are able to do like activities or sit by the fire so i just kind of got that for when we're by our cabin or maybe we can take it over to this one area it's like a canteen area um i got some more bracelets so I, I ended up getting a substitute for this i think the ones that i picked were only like 40 in a pack and they substituted it for 100 so that's cool uh some of my kids wanted goggles so i got two sets of goggles here um and this is just oh so it says kids ages four and up so it's just mainly going to be mostly the the little ones so all right Okay, so I'm gonna move over as much as I can here. Um, right here is um, some hand soap. I'm gonna tool along. This one is spearmint la uh, lemongrass, and this one is lavender and coconut. So we will be bringing that. We've been getting that for in our house, but we've been getting the lemon kind, a uh, different one. And then we got some anti-itch because we will be outside a lot. I do have sunscreen and stuff, but that's not part of this haul. I got two packs of these. They're color flames. Um, at the campsite, they come around and they start our bonfire for us. And then I thought it would be fun for us to have just a little bit of color in our um, in our bonfire. So that will be fun, right? We saw we put some in it at home. Yeah, once. yeah, one other time. I needed more baby wash to bring along for the kids because we go down to the beach and we are going to be um, needing some soap. We, This is the baby soap that we have been using. It's just uh, Dove's baby tip to toe wash. I saw this on the pickup order or suggestions and I got it, but I thought it came like with a multi-pack of worksheets and that I got so that the kids can work on something while we're in the cabin if we have to sit in the cabin for a while. I got some crayons. I have a bunch of books and stuff right there that we will be bringing along that's activity books um, and maybe some, I think I have paper and stuff. I got some Dixie cups because we ran out at home, but we need to bring them along for brushing our teeth. I got a multi-pack uh cups for drinks and stuff in the cabin so that's all that stuff up there so i'm gonna get back to over here i got two packs of what is it 24 water bottles um i got gage some half and half tea he's gonna give this a try and see if he likes it Another thing with the cabin or with what's going on with the coronavirus and all the safety guidelines, they're not able to leave the coffee bar open throughout the stay. So they only are going to have it at mealtime. So we are going to be bringing our own coffee machine. We have a Ninja coffee machine and I had a video out there of one of the caramel drink, ice 
caramel drink that we drink. So this is the creamer and the caramel that we use in that drink. And then Lauren will probably just make regular, um, regular stuff. So we, you can go outside, get your shoes on. So we got a lot of stuff packed right here. The kids, all right, sorry, we're cleaning out the van. Go get your shoes on. Go, go play Gage, see what he's doing. All right, so we are going to be bringing some almond milk for Miles, and it's the unsweetened vanilla milk. He usually uses a different brand, but we're going to be bringing this one along with us. He can't have milk, so that's going to be his. Eli requested to bring some Snapples, so I got three. You, Evelyn, you got to get shoes on. Okay, where are your shoes? They're in the garage. You want to go get them? You can just put it, just put it down. There, now go get them. All right, a little bit of Evelyn there. Okay, so like I said, he, here, I'll zoom out. He requested them. I've been drinking these. Um, every once in a while, some sparkling kiwi strawberry. I usually get the blackberry, so I got two of them. I also got a sparkling ice with caffeine, blue raspberry, so I'm going to try that out. Um, got Gage some peace tea, see if he'll like that. And then I got a six glass kiwi strawberry snapples. We'll be bringing that along. Some root beer and twist up. At the cabin, they do have canteens and um like soda machines and stuff so if we need to get extra we can otherwise we will be drinking what they have in um when we go for our meals and stuff all right so we had to get little swimmers for evelyn um i ran out of them so we need to pick up some of them i have two packs of snack sticks um 14 in each pack I also have um, two packs of strawberries, some bananas, and then we needed more paper plates in the house, but we will be bringing them with us. I have a box of um, vanilla wafers, some Scooby snacks for the kids, some regular cookie mix, and then some Chip Ahoy, Chips Ahoy cookies. Um, Okay, I'm gonna start here. So we have our Hershey bars, our graham crackers, and our marshmallows for our s'mores. That's what we got for s'mores when we make them. I have some Extreme Warheads, Sour Patch Kids, Declan over here requested Mentos. We have Spreeze. We have a big thing of Sour Patch Kids. We have a big thing of Skittles. Skittles, another pack of Skittles. We don't usually do a lot of that. It's kind of like random. We do have candy in the house, but we don't always eat it as much as what this looks like. Um, we have two packs of Doritos. If anybody knows, we eat them on a regular basis almost every single day. And then I have the jalapeno cheese and three mile to go along. Um, which I'll probably have to pack another one of them. And for chips, we, another child, I think Hudson, right? Yeah. You requested French onion, sun chips. Gage always like, likes Funyuns. And then they've been asking for these jalapeno kettle cooked, um, chips. My sister brought them over recently with some French onion dip and it tastes delicious together so if you guys are into spicy and you want it to be a little mild with the dip it tastes amazing and then we got regular potato chips because Declan likes regular potato chips and then with the french onion too I don't do you like the french onion dip uh, what's that? that dip down here do you ever eat it with that no okay otherwise Lauren eats it with that we got two boxes of Kleenex and then we have a whole pack of paper towel because we needed that in the house also. So we picked up that, we'll bring some of that along. Um, I probably won't be bringing napkins, but I will be bringing baby wipes and diapers and all that. And that I'm not, you know, I don't have like a packing um, video. I probably won't do a packing video. I'll just tell you like when we get to the cabin, what we kind of brought along there. 
Um, this is probably going to be a part two. So right now it's just going to be what we got from our Walmart pickup, our camping haul. I got the little kids, this little kid tent that we're going to set up tonight so they can maybe sleep in it in the living room tonight. Um, that'll be fun for them because tomorrow morning we're going to be heading out and maybe we'll pack that up and then bring that along with us. I'm not quite sure. So another thing that we picked up, um, when we're at camp, we get free time and we like to go down at the beach and I will be videotaping that and you guys will see us playing at the beach. Um, they have a lot of stuff in the water that the kids climb on, but for the little ones, I wanted to get this um, just because that'll be fun. Last year, we weren't really prepared because we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. So we didn't really have extra play stuff for the kids. So this time I made sure that we had everything that we needed. All right. So while I was at, I'll put the buckets off to the side here because that's not what I need right now. So when I was at Walmart, I turned around this one section and I noticed that they had all these backpacks there and they were only like a dot or seven fifty a piece. If I can, I'll try to leave the price of everything in um, right down below the screen here of everything that I paid, but the backpacks were seven fifty a piece, which I thought I don't even know what they originally costed. What are they? Oh, they were only like ten bucks, so that's not a big deal. But they were seven seven fifty, and I thought a lot of them have backpacks, but this was kind of a fun theme thing. So Gage got a Batman, Eli got uh, the Marvel, Nash and Lachlan twins got the same backpack um and just to let you guys know the twins don't always like to have everything the same but for this pick i just picked them out to have the same thing and of course evelyn because bell is right there we had to have bell and the other marvel is hudson and then behind this one we have spider-man oh let's see if i can move this over spider-man for miles and then Declan gets a Batman one. So it was nice that they had pretty much this nice theme going on with the backpacks that fit our family. So that was pretty awesome. Um, so I told you before that I couldn't find buckets and stuff. I did have two buckets and this shovel from Myers that I got a while ago, um, just because we didn't have any in, in the house. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buckets, even though eight kids are coming along. But I'm not sure about Gage and Eli, you know, how much they're going to be using this. Because once you guys see the beach, a lot of times they hang out in the water because they have like this big water blob thing. So that's what they're going to be on. But I don't mind sharing with the other kids that maybe don't have buckets and stuff on the beach. So that'll be fun. Um, right now the kids are outside. I don't know if you can see, but they're outside cleaning up our van to get ready. This stuff is going to get packed up. Um, we just have to figure out where we're going to put all this in the van. There's a, a, like a lot of empty spots underneath our seats that we're able to pack this up. We still have to pack up like a stroller and other so stuff. Luckily, we don't have to bring cots or anything like that because our cabin has... Um, how many beds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven beds, but it's bunk beds. So there's 14 beds. So there's plenty of space for us to have beds and storage and stuff. We also have to bring a table because that's where we put all our snacks and our coffee machine will be with us. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it for our grocery haul. And then a little bit later today, I'll show you what we're doing with our name tag or our board that we have to create. So that's about it for right now and we'll come back in a little while. So when I went into Walmart, I forgot to tell you what I got for myself. So I saw this shirt. I don't know if you guys can see. This is what that looks like. And I'm thinking that when we go to like the church service part um, or like our sessions and stuff, I can wear that. Um, that one was 1096 
Um, I showed you guys on my Facebook page one time, kind of a little shopping haul and the prices that I got from Walmart. So once in a while I'll do stuff like that just because I'm a very cheap person when it comes to buying clothing. This is actually like a really deep purple is showing up lighter on here, but it is super adorable. And then on the back, this is what it looks like on the back with a little tie. Um, so sometimes with Walmart clothing though, the sizings are kind of off. So I got a medium, a medium, and then for this shirt, it's just kind of like a t-shirt, but it has like a little, kind of a little poof and longer sleeves than a regular t-shirt. And this is a size 11 because I like it to be extra baggy when I'm wearing leggings. So them are the three shirts that I got. I will be wearing these leggings with that basic tee. And how much was this shirt? $7.96 for that shirt. And then I got just the regular leggings. There's some black and stuff in there, so that'll go with that. And then it's only $4.44. So I usually get, oh, I got a medium in that. I found a pair of sandals quick. Um, and I wear a size six at them for five dollars. So I probably will be wearing it with this outfit. You just can't really see that well because of the sun. I got a pair of black leggings and they have this design on the side of the leg. And these I got a small because they didn't have a medium, which I don't even know if they're going to fit me. I just liked them. So I'm hoping that it'll work out good and then another pair of leggings but these are just plain leggings i got them last time and um they're kind of a little generic but i do like them because i wear longer shirts anyways and let's see i didn't tell you how much the other things costed but let's see these are 444 also and the ones that have the design on the sides are 696 I did end up getting another pair of slippers there. I don't really like them that much. They're black, but the ones that I just got from Myers has a big hole in them, so I needed a new pair. And that's what these look like. And these were $11.88. And them are a size 5'6". And of course, I came across these cute shoes walmart and these are 20 20 dollars 19.99 or 19.98 and um i usually wouldn't pay that price for a pair of shoes just because i am super cheap but they are adorable and i can wear these with leggings or um jeans and i probably won't be bringing these along with me just because i want to be comfortable that's why i got the sandals so that's a little bit about my clothing haul that i will be bringing along Another thing that I got from the Dad, dollar what? store is this container Dad, because eventually with the Dad, box of crayons right there, I'm sure are going to be all what? over. So I got this and then I got a deck of cards too um, for Dad, them to play games. We like no. to play cards. So that's another thing that I got at the dollar Dad, store. We got our little tent set up so Nash and Lachlan are in there. And then we'll get a okay. mate, bring it to camp. Yeah, we'll probably bring it to camp. You guys got to watch out for that um, bottom part there. And then you walk out. Yeah. You got a bucket, Evelyn? How are we going to take these off? You take the handle off. Oh, yeah. The handle's off. One of the things that we did last year is pack the kids in bags. So one day is packed in each bag. Um, Evelyn's just great because she has to take a nap right now. So... Um, I have Nash's starter right here, so this is going to be his one day, and then I have another bag for him for another day. So I have, um, or he has a shirt, a shorts, underwear, socks, pajamas, and a pull-up all for one day. So we learned that last time that we went, and that helped us out because then everything um, when they pull everything out, yeah, so that's why we got the backpacks, so he can put that right inside. Yep. Um, he can put this right inside his backpack, and he can pull out, hold on one second, I'm going to take all the air out. 
so that when you put it in there that it's um, a little bit more compact. So he will pull out the outfit for the day. That won't fit in there. That's not gonna fit in there. You gotta put it in the other part. Mm. Um, and then I, another idea that we were going to be doing is, okay, you gotta put it in this part, the big part, not the little part that you put, keep putting it in. Okay, so another good thing when kids with packing and going places, they like to pull everything out and try to find outfits and then everything is a mess and they end up losing things. So that was one thing that helped us last year with camping. And then it doesn't get their other clothes wet or anything if they were to go to the beach and then all they need to do is grab out their clothes and it keeps everything dry, right? Yeah. Um, another thing we're going to be doing with the backpacks at camp is they'll take this along with them when we go places. They can put a water bottle on this yeah. side. They can put their mask because we have to bring masks along to camp this My bandana's this time. away here. Oh, yeah, bandana. No, they're, are they, no, they're not. Wait, what? We did, doing this one? What? So we have a bunch of different masks and bandanas. Um, and you guys will see them wearing their mask and stuff when we get to camp. You were supposed to do that. Okay, so me and the kids are getting started with drawing out our name on our board for camp. And this is what we have so far. And the kids are making chickens down there. And then we're going to add like a background and stuff. So we'll show you we're when we're sun. done. All right, so we finished up our sign, and this is what it looked like. Oh, looks like. So everybody had part in coloring it. So the the all the little ones, Declan, Nash, Lachlan, Eli, Miles, and them drew the these little. I almost said kitty cocktails, but <laughs> cattails. They call them kitty cocktails. And then Declan drew some flowers, and then there's a little. Um, dandelion thing over there. We got Miles drew some turkeys and our goats are right here and then our chickens and then our Eli drew the chicken coop and Miles helped me with the sun and what else did we do? Oh you got a who did the bumblebee? Uh, I do. I did that. You did the bumblebee? Nice. Oh, that's cute. Try to spot 10 kids in a garage. And then the kids put 10 kids in a garage up there to see if anybody's going to notice no, that in the picture I when we bring it to camp. Them. So we are all finished. Mm -hmm.